Hello everyone, my name is Icebridge and welcome straight back to Dragon Quest XI. It's actually been probably a day for you, but we don't talk about that. Uh, I'd, I'd like to walk into the rainbow in its bank. Deposit. I'm gonna deposit. Now if I find out it like it's all like I have to go to a different I have to go to that same bank every time. Which I just gave a thousand like a lot of gold. <laughs> okay. So we are right now going to do this. Okay. And let's talk to the prince. I wish I could keep it. It's made for you, yada yada. My sorry. Oh no. Good, yeah, Mike. Yes. We're having a little bit of fun today. Gemma. Ah, I didn't get to see what they said. I want to know what it is about Gemma. I just hope she ain't dead. Halt! Oh. Hello, Politans! This is. Uh, no ordinary sand national! Uh. Hooray! All hell, Prince Varys! It must be wonderful to be so popular, darling. But of course, you are used to it. Being a real live prince, huh? You have no idea. The name's Silvano, by the way. One of the other writers had a little whoopsie, so I had to step in at the last minute. But don't think I'll be going easy on you just because you're royalty. Where would be the fun in that? Try to keep up, little princey. I plan to win. We plan to win. Okay, hold Z to send your horse ahead. Press Y to tongue with. And shrinks for a nice tight turn. Uh, okay. Go. I gotta get this whole tuck turn shit.
Oh, wait, somebody beat me? Okay, well, I'm assuming I can't really beat the other guy. But I can beat this guy. Maybe there is a way to beat the other guy, I just don't know. I wonder what this game is like. This mini game is in 2D mode. I mean, if you're watching the 2D, 2D ones, this, and you're with this, that ah, man, I haven't played 2D mode in a couple days. <gasps> well done. You are most talented, a far more natural horseman than I had anticipated. <laughs> now quickly, my public await. I shall take the reins from here. <laughs> Fear not, my friend. I have not forgotten my promise. I will discuss the rainbow with my father, just as soon as my people have finished showering me with adulation. Adulation. <laughs> you know, while he's doing that, it would have been a smart idea to change Praise the fates. Our plan was a success because thank you. You have spared me great humiliation. <laughs> I will go immediately to my father and ask about the rainbow. <gasps> All hail Prince Faris, pride of the desert, horseman extraordinaire. Darling, you are fabulous. It was enough to bring a tear even to my jaded eye. Uh, uh, oh. Wait, don't tell me you were... <gasps> Surely you didn't let your understudy take the stage for the command performance? <gasps> oh, this is too, too good! Wait, wait, but you do not understand the pressure I am under. A prince of Galopolis who could not ride a horse is a disgrace to the kingdom. I did what was necessary for the sake of my people. And now all can be forgotten. Yes? And there was silly old Silvando thinking that knights never retreated in the face of adversity. Silence! I am the prince of this kingdom and I will not have a traveling jester lecture me on chivalry. <gasps> A thousand pardons, your highness. <gasps> Enter. The Sultan wishes to see you, your highness. Your magnificent display of horsemanship has pleased him greatly. Very good. I will come right away. My promise still stands. Come to the throne room in a little while. We will see what can be done about this branch of yours.
so nice to see a royal with the common touch. You were wonderful out there today, darling. Maybe we'll get to share the stage again soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, weird. Now we're gonna do the throne room. I'm riding a horse in town. I can't ride a horse in town. Why well, she gets red eyes on town? I don't think it's weird. Um. No pots are safe with me around. I'm curious if his dialogue changed. Give me a second. Okay. Oh, just uh. Man, somebody breaking pots in the capital? Oh, I'm in somebody's room. Oh, well. I gotta get my book in real quick. No, it's just Galopolis stuff. The Sultans. Ah, some earrings. Man, there's just some guy out there just breaking shit. We go. Truly, I am humbled. All I have ever desired is to fulfill my duties as a prince and as a knight. Hmm? Ah. Father, if I may, I have promised to assist these travelers. Would you permit me to explain? Gladly, my son. It warms my heart to see you aiding those in need. Truly, you have taken the knight's pledge to heart. Thank you, father. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that my friends here have come to Galopolis in search of the rain. <sighs> Your majesty, the beast has returned. It attacked one of our men while we were out on patrol. The Slayer of the Sands is back? Why must the accursed creature always appear on this, the happiest day of the year? We will stand for this no longer. I must dispatch my finest knights and ensure that the fiend never again returns to terrorize the Celestial Sands. But wait. My boy, the fates are speaking to us. Capturing the Slayer would be the perfect way to show your people what a fine knight you have become. What? But, 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 but oh, father, <laughs> so many of our bravest men have confronted the creature and perished. <laughs> Surely, <laughs> I do not stand a chance. <laughs> Truly, it is the most able who are the most humble. But you cannot hide your true feelings. You are trembling with excitement. <laughs> About that. <laughs> this is your moment, Faris, my boy. Capture the Slayer and take your place in history. But uh, I... I... Oh, very... Very well, father. <laughs> Yay! I shall begin my preparations right away. <laughs> oh. 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 A thousand pardons, the 
The rain bar will have to wait. Look at Eric's face. Meet me in my chambers. There is something we must discuss. Oh, 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 just breathe, Faris. I have a sense that I'm getting screwed again. Oh, let's go before. I beg of you, the Slayer of the Sands will tear me limb from limb unless you aid me. Have pity on a desperate soul. <laughs> Spoken like a true desert knight. Seriously, can't you handle this on your own? No! No, such a thing is impossible! I am no knight! I neglected my training! I allowed my vassals to fight all my battles for me. <laughs> oh, it is not my fault. I am an only child. I was coddled from birth and praised for the most insignificant of achievements. I did not wish to disappoint my parents or my people, so I, I, I found ways of, of seeming to fulfill their expectations without necessarily doing so. But the more I fulfilled them, the more their expectations grew, and now finally they expect the impossible. Oh, oh, oh it's so unfair. Don't you see? If you refuse to help me, I will be sent to my doom and through no fault of my own. <laughs> Please, will you take pity on your old friend? <laughs> I've known you for like maybe a day. Sure. Oh, oh thank you. Ten thousand thank yous. <laughs> and fear not. I will speak to my father about the rainbow as soon as the beast is captured. We must make preparations to depart immediately. I will await you at the castle gates. What a pathetic excuse for a prince. Goodness knows what will become of Galopolis with him in charge. Oh, we mustn't be so hard on him, Veronica. I'm sure it can't be easy growing up with everyone expecting so much of you. God, again, just pisses me off. Well, let's go, uh... I'm curious what them locked doors are for. Okay. <laughs> I need no disrespect, Your Highness, but how could you do this to us? You have volunteered us for certain death. Fear not, trusted retainers. We do not journey into the jaws of danger alone. Ha! Ah, impeccable timing as always. Allow me to introduce our knights in shining armor. These brave adventurers have agreed to capture the Slayer for us. 
Now, the beast lair is said to be located deep within the celestial sands. The fastest route is through the checkpoint to the west. We march immediately for Galopolis! For Galopolis. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Room for a little one? Oh, I'd hate to miss a good beast hunt. <laughs> huh? Look at him. Whoop. <laughs> There's no such thing as a good beast hunt, friend. If I were you, I'd run along back to the circus. Well, aren't you just a lovely, patronizing little deer? Look, I'm worried about the half-wit prince getting himself killed. Can I come with you or not? Come on. Hmm. At least one of you has some sense. Lead on, darling! How? <sighs> I'm curious what happened to Gemma, though. But unfortunately, I'm going to end this episode here, but I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great day, great time. I'll catch you in the next one.